Welcome to the combat realm. I'm the G-Man Ron Gerard, and we welcome you to this segment. We're at the Long Life Fighters Gym in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, we're going to be speaking with Kenny Adams, the Dean of American Trainers, and a few of his fighters. One in particular is going to be fighting for a title before too long. So I think you're going to enjoy this segment. We're going to bring it back into the past and talk about maybe the past 40 years, some of the, some of the terrific fighters Kenny's worked with, and also a young man that's uh, just starting out in the business. So stay with us. I think you're going to like what you're going to see. All right, we're here with Kenny Adams, the, uh, who I consider the dean of, uh, of uh, trainers here in, in this country. Uh, Kenny, how many years has it been now that you've been uh, in, in the corner? Uh, I started in, actually professionally 1989. Uh, quite a few years at this point. I'm up to 26 world champions. Uh, hope to get some more, uh, but uh, boxing is what I do. I love it, live it, die it, like I said. If I'm like Hagler. When I die, they open my head, there's one big boxing glove. How is the, how is the game, the, the fight game changed for you through the years? I mean, I don't think the, the trainers are as, as dedicated, it doesn't seem as, as they were years ago. How do you look at it? Well, to be honest with you, I look at it from a lot, from the skill level. From the skill level, I, I, I don't see anybody that really, really knows how to teach boxing. And I think that's your biggest factor that this this really hurt us in our amateur program <clears throat> there's not many guys many people out there that are teaching the guys the basic fundamentals the proper jab the right hand the hook the movement uh, combinations and things of that nature uh, also defense which goes along with that uh, but once again of a great offense is a defense but it's just not being taught and uh, I, I, I and I don't know who to blame but I also understand and see that a lot of the fighters that are out there today, they're looking for a yes man. They're not looking for someone that really wants to make them get to the nitty gritties and learn every aspect of the boxing that they need to. These guys want to get away whatever they do. I think a fighter, a real true fighter, learns how to do defense. He learns his offense. He learns movement. He learns position of hands, feet, etc. Greatest fighter you ever trained? Who is it? Quite, quite hard to... Pick about, I, I got some guys I can name such. I got Frankie Lyles, who was great. I got Kenny McKinney. I got Edwin Valero, Jorge Leonardis, uh, Freddie Norwood. Uh, Eddie Cook. Eddie Cook, he was my first amateur champion. And my first world champion was Rene Jacob from France. Uh, he wasn't the greatest, but he had big cojones and he had a lot of guts and determination, always in great shape. And Prince Philip was another monster. Uh, Charles Murray, uh, Ray Mercer, Alfred Cole, uh, Tapia, uh, you, you name them. Uh, I mean, you, you just go through name after name. <coughs> Excuse me. I just can't remember my mom. You know, I'm old, you know. What about the Hall of Fame? Should be in the, in the International Hall of Fame. And uh, we even have the Nevada uh, Boxing Hall of Fame. Well, I've been nominated for the the major Hall of Fame, International Hall of Fame, on three different occasions. Uh, unfortunately, I've been unlucky or whatever, haven't got in. I'm not sure what you need to do to get in. Uh, you have to do what you did. Uh, maybe it's the same thing like the Nevada. Uh, I felt like, if, if, other than Eddie Futch and Emmanuel Stewart, nobody else should have been the next trainer in before me. I'm not bragging, I'm not being sarcastic about it, but. That's no problem. That's that's the way life is. You know, uh, uh, I'm just happy to be alive, and I'm a Missouri Hall of Famer, and some of the greatest win in that one. So I feel happy and joyous about that. Well, we appreciate everything you've done for the sport of boxing, amateur, and on the professional level. All right, here with Sharif Bogade. Yes, sir. 
You are the, you are a, a man that's emerging. Uh, you, I know you call yourself the lion. A lot of people that fight you think think that you're a lion, but uh, your skill level in the last uh, couple of years is just uh, exploding. Uh, you're getting better at such a rapid rate. What do you attribute that to? I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I have the best trainer in the world, you know, the master, you know, he's the best in business right now, you know. A lot of people, they know him. Mr. Kenny Adams, you know, he has done a great job on, on improving my boxing skills, movements, you know, we've been doing a lot of different things. And uh, another gentleman called Brandon Woods, they've been helping me big time. I've been boxing for a while now and the experience is picking up now, you know. I had to settle things down and start listening more and try to imply the things that uh, my trainer has been showing me. And uh, my body is accepting it and uh, it seems pretty cool and it's coming up really good. Maybe one more fight, perhaps, and you're going to get a, a, an opportunity to fight for, for, for a title. That has to be something that is a driving force with you. Well, I mean, you know, I see a lot of guys out there fighting for the world titles, guy, holding titles who don't really deserve it. You know, the real champion is right here. He's Sheriff the Lion. He's ready to, to rule over the lightweights, you know. Want to take over lightweight and one day maybe we'll move up to the next weight class. The Lion Sheriff is coming. You people can follow me on Twitter at Sheriff Bogere. My Facebook page, the Sheriff the Lion Bogere. Stay blessed. Yeah, you heard it from the lion, the lion's mouth, not the horse's mouth, the lion's mouth. Uh, we appreciate the time and uh, continued success. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you all out there. All right, there you got it. You heard from Kenny Adams telling us about, uh, I don't know how many fighters' names he threw out there, but pick a few and start thinking back to some of the memories you have of them or... Uh, we have a fighter that's a fight away from a title and another young kid that's uh, got dreams in his, in his head that uh, he's going to have a belt before too long, and hopefully he will. We're going to be covering MMA and boxing here on the Combat Realm every week, so stay tuned and keep an eye out for us. In the meantime, I'm the G-Man, and I'm telling you, keep your hands up, your chin down, and shoot the jab. And don't make me look for you.